Hi and welcome to another video from KPOIT Solutions. Uh, my name is Keith and today I'm going to be taking you through a quick Photoshop tutorial in Windows on how to make some social networking uh, icons. Uh, you can download these from our website. A bit like these, you can download these from our website uh, for free. And they contain the PSD layer file and <coughs> everything you need to uh, basically implement these into your site. Uh, so let's uh, let's crack on. And first, we need to define the document size. So head up to File in the top left-hand corner, uh, click on New, and then define yourself a, a nice size document. Uh, I've gone for 800, 600. You can go for whatever size you want, but for the purpose of this tutorial, 800 by 600, resolution of 72 pixels per inch, uh, RGB color 8-bit. Click OK, and that will define your document. Now we need to make the shapes. Uh, we're going for like a, a rounded rectangle, but this tutorial will work for pretty much anything here, the rectangle, the ellipse tool, the polygon, even a custom shape. Uh, so head up to rounded rectangle. Uh, once you've got that selected, head over to your document and in the top corner here, whilst holding the shift key, just drag out a nice size square. There we go. Uh, the reason why you hold the shift key is it makes a nice proportion square. <laughs> Next we need to uh, duplicate this, so with the layer selected, head over to your move tool and then whilst holding alt, click on the shift key and then just drag out a nice uh, another square and we need to do that another few more times until you've got six evenly sized boxes. I'll just drag those into the middle there and now for each of the uh, each of the icons, uh, we're going to have a, a nice bevel uh, uh, and emboss effect just so it looks a little bit nicer. So we just double click on the first one, uh, click on bevel and emboss, click on the contour. Now you just want to make sure that these are all here and they're all fine uh, for now. For the purpose, you can mess around with these and create a nice, create a nice uh, effect there. But for the purpose of this, this is what we're going to do. So just click OK. And now we need to make them all the same. So right click on the on the layer you've just done, click on copy layer style, and whilst holding down the shift key, click on the very top layer, and that will select all of the layers. Right click and then click on paste layer style, and that will copy the effect onto every single one. Uh, from this point, I'd recommend uh, making some group folders and then naming those folders just so it's easier to maneuver around. So you just click on the first one whilst holding control click on the G and that will define the group for you and then just do that for every single one just quickly do that now uh, just so it makes it easier for you to identify each layer as we go through the tutorial so we'll just close those and the first group one we're going to call this one Facebook the second one double click and we're going to call this one Twitter. Group three, we're going to call this one Twitter Bird. So we're going to do two different Twitter, Twitter icons, one with the bird and one with just a standard T. Uh, this one we're going to call Skype. Group five, we're going to call this one Google Plus. And then the last one, we're going to call this one RSS. Okay, so now you've done all that, it should look a, something like that. And uh, if you click on the first one, uh, click on the layer shape, double click on it, and then head down to the gradient overlay, click on that, and it'll bring you into your layer style here where you can set your gradient overlay. You double, just click inside, and it'll bring up this uh, little gradient bar. And I've got already got the colors, so the color for Facebook will be two, four, four, three, eight, six. Click OK and then head to the very end. Double click on that and then the ending color will be two, C, five, three, nine, E. Click OK. <clears throat> there you go, you've got your first Facebook color. It's just a nice little gradient there. Just click OK. Head to your next one which is Twitter again to the shape layer, double click, head over to gradient overlay and then select your gradient overlay again. I've got the colors here for Twitter and it starts with 0, 5, 
Click OK, and it ends with uh, ends with white. So if you don't already know the all the Fs is for white. So click OK, click OK again, and that's fine. Uh, the next one will be exactly the same. So all you need to do is right click, copy layer style, and then head into your Twitter bird, click on the layer, right click, and then copy layer style. Sorry, paste layer style. Let's do that again wrong button there right click copy layer style into Twitter bird right click and paste layer style and there we go you've got two identical ones there next is to Skype again double click the layer head over to gradient overlay and then the colors for that will be let's just check zero zero B seven E a click OK and then it ends in the color F sorry not F it's 0 0 9 E C 3 click OK OK again and OK again and you've got your Skype icon there ready and then do the same for Google Plus Head into the layer, group layer, head into the folder, open it, double click, head to your gradient overlay, and then define the colors. And that color will be, starts with A, 8, 2, 9, 1, C, click OK, and then the ending color will be 668, 668, 5, 6. So that's 668, 5, 6. Sorry, F, F, 6, 6, 8, 5, 6. And there we go. Click OK, OK again, and then OK again. And then lastly, your RSS feed click on the layer, double click, that brings up your layer style options, click on gradient, and then define the colors in there. Again, I've got the colors ready, and the colors are FA, 9534, click OK, and then the ending color will be FFB26, Seven, and then click OK, OK again, OK, and there you go. You've got your six social networking icons ready. Now all we need to do is add the the icons, the Facebook icon, the Twitter icon, the Google icon, uh, and the RSS icon. Um, and for that, you can download that from our website as well. I'll leave the link in the description uh, below. But once you've brought it into your document, make sure you've got your Move tool selected, and then you can just drag them drag them over and then drop them into your document let's try that again shall we so grab them take them over into your layer and drop them down and there they are we'll move those to the bottom there now while they're here down at the bottom I recommend putting a nice inner shadow on them so just click on the first one and then just click inner shadow and that will leave it as default that's fine click OK and then again like you did with the um, the backgrounds uh, you will need to select the first one head to the end whilst holding shift click and that will set up bring up all of them it will select all of them right click We'll need to copy that first. So right click on the first one, copy layer style, and whilst holding shift, it will select all of them for you. Right click and then paste layer style, and that way they've all got the same drop shadow. And then it's just a matter of putting them into their uh, relevant folders. So the Facebook one, make sure you put it on top of uh, the shape layer so that it shows through. 
and there we go and then we move that up and whilst holding the shift key you can make a nice proportion and then line it up where you need to line it up make sure it's central hit the enter key and your Facebook icon is done next is uh, the Twitter so again open up your Twitter folder just drag and drop that on top of the shape layer select it and then just bring it up and flop it in there and then bring it up and center it into the where you want to put it and there we go actually that's not very centered just use your arrow keys and center it up and there's your Twitter done and uh, now for the Twitter bird just hold it make sure you drag it and put it above the shape layer and again it's just a matter of dragging and dropping it resizing it to where you want and then putting it, pressing enter and there it is and again for the skype icon drag and drop and put it over the top of it of the of the layer and bring that in there we go and then holding shift you can drag it out and keep it in proportion hit enter there we go uh, next is your google plus so same again open up the layer folder drag it and drop it on top of the uh, on top of the shape and then you can move it resize it to the size that you want and then center it if you can there we go and the last but not least is your RSS icon feed again just click on the layer drag it and drop it on top of the shape layer and then drag and drop and bring it into the center you can resize it as needed there we go I'll just move that click on enter and there we go uh, all done again like I said this can work with the the shapes as well you can do circles and uh, custom shapes as well uh, but for the purpose of this we did the square um, you can make a nice little background by going into your patterns layers and selecting a nice pattern maybe a blue one no that doesn't look very nice at all does it we'll go over black one there we go click ok and there it is i hope this has uh, been helpful for you uh, please comment rate and subscribe and we'll see you next time uh, thank you for watching